Um, there was also one incident in that game uh, on Friday night. Uh, uh, Jerome Hughes, this obstruction, not obstruction call when Corey Oates scored the try. Um, I think in commentary, both of you agree that he was diving. He, 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 he tried to milk the penalty. And well done to the bunker for seeing this. Look, you can see he's playing. Like, dead set. Wouldn't get a gold, Logie. Maybe a silver one. So when we were um, sitting but on the side... Just being consistent. If they're, they're going to rule like that, then be consistent. Because you can see he doesn't make an effort to go past. He plays for the penalty. But please be consistent. Well, I can understand Billy. So Billy is saying that Luke K uh, Kirk Cable was in the line, which he pulled up right... On the line, so I think there was plenty of room there for Jerome Hughes just to move past him. What Jerome was doing was playing to the rules and trying to get a penalty, without a doubt. Mm. He barely touched him. So let's not say that Kirk Cable took him out. Mm. But I can understand Billy's point, but at the end of the day, if everyone's going to dive, our game looks stupid. Yes, I agree with that, but Billy's point was the rule is, was he, you have to look at it to say, was he obstructed at all? The way the game's played, there are so many people in front of the ball at the moment. Mm. So many people in front of the ball. And if you want to pull up every single person that was in the line, the game would be stagnant because that's the way. There was a time when no one actually threw the ball behind someone else. There was like, you know, 80 years of our game where there were no block plays. Mm. Now our game is entirely block plays. So if you pulled up every single moment that someone was in front of the ball, then of course the game is just going to be penalised every time then there's a second man play, which is every nearly every second or third tackle. we could have a round where there's no block plays? We should see, have a round where there's no block plays. see how plays. they go. There'd be anxiety levels when you're through the roof. <laughs> Do you think that this could be um, a stepping stone forward for bunker calls with this? I have these... no idea. You know how I feel about the bunker. I know. Well, I was just surprised that you were praising the bunker. We know how. Well, it's just... <laughs> now they're getting itself in a situation where... I don't know. I just hope they're consistent. That's all I want. I just want to just... Well, at the end of the day... Put, I just want to put my head in a bath of cold water after watching the bunker. I thought Tamari Munn did a really good job. She just got and realised he was in a bad position and threw it straight away. Because there was one yesterday, the Matt Moylan one for the Cronulla, mm. without harping on it. They took the try off him, which I thought was an out-and-out try. Anyway. We'll let Joey have a breather over this ad oh. break. <laughs> but I think at the end of the day, what we need to do is the defenders... Have your best effort. Mm. If your best effort, and then that's why the referees and the bunker need to adjudicate if someone's making an effort. You know, if they are making an effort, they need to give them a little bit of leeway yep. and say, right, oh, well, he's made an effort, hasn't quite made it, let's penalise them. So and then, and that was a poor effort by Jerome Hughes. That was an absolute poor effort, without a doubt. For a bloke who's one of our best players in the game, that was a poor effort. So, you know, he made sure he paid the penalty for trying to take an easy trip. He ended up sort of playing the tough game, end up winning the, the game for him. So it's just that, you know, that mindset. And he even spoke to the ref uh, walking off at half-time about it as well. He was trying to clarify what was happening because he believes that he was obstructed as well. But anyway. Yeah, he was obstructed. Mm. But, you know, to a point, like I said, if you... Oops, <laughs> there is, stop? I, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> there is a hundred <laughs> times where a player is in front of the ball. Yeah, yeah. In every game. So, you know, at some stage you, there's got to be allowances and you've just got to... Move on. All right. Joey needs to put his head in a yeah. bucket of ice.